This video is made available by the Allegheny College Computer Science Department under an attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works version 3.0 license. Now we're on the home stretch. You know how to solder, so I'm just going to take you quickly through the remaining components. First, go ahead and attach the 16 MHz crystal and the two 22 picofarad capacitors. Insert all the components, bend the legs over, and when you're soldering, remember to try and minimize the amount of solder that you use. I think that in general, throughout these videos, I've been using just a touch too much solder. See if you can use less. Next, we'll do the five 1K resistors and the one 10K resistor. Note that the 10K resistor is brown, black, orange. I had to get my multimeter out and test them to find it because orange looked so close to red. Next, do the pin 13 LED and the transmit and receive LEDs. We have three more capacitors to do. The reset capacitor, capacitor one, and capacitor 9. They're all 100 nanofarad capacitors. In your kit, these may be numbered to 104. Look at the soldering job I did on these. I actually think I'm starting to get better. You'll notice that I've used a very small amount of solder to affix each of the capacitors. Try and do the same. Now we can do the reset switch and the 28-pin socket. The important thing to note about the socket is it does have a correct orientation. Notice the little bump? It's both in the silk screen and on the part. Be very careful not to force anything when working with both the socket and the CPU. I accidentally folded one of the legs of the socket underneath itself. This took some very careful work to unfold and get back into the correct place. To solder the socket, anchor one corner and then the opposite corner, and work your way down the pins, applying a small amount of solder to each pin, being careful not to jump or, or bridge any two adjacent pins. To finish your Friduino, carefully solder in the female headers, trying to do your best to keep them square or upright. After that, the six pin header Finally, carefully insert the Atmega328 into the socket, being careful not to bend any of the pins out of shape. Finally, open your favorite programming environment for the Arduino, compile, and upload a program. If all has gone well, you'll have a complete and working Friduino that you built yourself. Otherwise, good luck debugging.